Now that we have our base setup going, let's add some more functionality to our environment. We're gonna add some speakers by hijacking the audio, and then we're gonna add more monitors by adding an HDMI splitter. To hijack the audio, we're gonna use this little de-embedding device, and it's got an HDMI in, and it has a loop out, HDMI out, and we're gonna plug our Logitech speakers here into this little 3.5 millimeter jack right there. And from the out of the audio device, we're gonna go into our four port splitter. It's got an input here, and it's got four outputs here. And one thing to note is that HDMI cannot be split and extended. So when you add more HDMI signals to this environment, it's gonna be a mirror of what's gonna coming out of the KVM. Let's go to the back and start setting this up. I'm gonna bring this table up to a little taller height so it's easier to work with. And we already saved a little bit of time, have some power already ran, and we already have another splitter set up here. So our first step is gonna to be to unplug the monitor from the KVM so we can add our de-embedding tool. I'm gonna to grab an HDMI cable and go into HDMI in. And that's gonna go into the output of the KVM. Grab another HDMI cable here. That's gonna to go to the HDMI out. That's gonna to go to the input of the splitter here. Let's give ourselves a little bit more room to work with. Then we need to power our device. It's gonna go power here, and then we're gonna plug in our 3.5 millimeter audio jack here cable's a little bit short too. All right, see if we can't tuck all this up underneath here. Make it a touch cleaner. There's that, there's that. Okay, good enough for now. All right, so we have the video coming out into our de-embedding tool and then into our splitter. Now we need to add the monitors to the splitter. So we've got our local monitor here. I'm gonna plug that into four. And then we have this other monitor we ran to the other table and then we're gonna plug that into number three. All right, let's go to the front and let's see if we set this up correctly. Let's bring our table back down to a normal height. And it looks like the splitter was already turned on. So we already see we've got three and four lit up and the input is lit up. So we know that we've got everything working correctly. We've got a control here. Let's go ahead and switch over to two, which is our Raspberry Pi. And then now we've got audio here on the Raspberry Pi, so it looks like everything is working correctly with the audio. Let's switch over to number three, and we should have our laptop. We can control it with a laptop, or we can control it with the mouse. All right, let's check in on the other monitor that we have on our other desk here. So now here, remember that's a mirrored image, so you're only seeing the exact same image here that's on the other screen from the coming out of the KVM. And if we wanted to, we can watch what's going on in the KVM and then control it remotely with the laptop that we used earlier to program the KVM for our LAN. So let's go ahead and fire that up and let's connect with the control application. We've already got it programmed for 10.1.20.250. Let's hit connect. And we're gonna get the green light here. And then now we can switch over to our Pi. You'll be able to hear the audio from the Pi. Well, I'll have it turned down a little bit. Then we've got also input one, which is our desktop. So it's a really good way to keep an eye what's going on the KVM and then be able to switch around to see what's going on anywhere where you have Wi-Fi. All right, that's it for this segment. We're gonna go ahead and add a KVM extender, which is gonna be able to control the KVM as well as all the devices that are connected to it from anywhere you can run a Cat6 cable. We'll be right back. All right, for our last setup segment, we're starting in the back of the table here, and we're gonna extend the functionality of the KVM into a completely different room, or at least anywhere that you can run ethernet to. And to do this, we're gonna use a KVM extender. They come in two parts, a transmitter as well as a receiver. They have a little LAN port here that you make a direct ethernet connection between the two. Let's go ahead and start setting that up. To connect to the splitter, you're gonna to wanna to go HDMI out from the splitter into the transmitter here. We got the wrong side, let's grab this here. And then to get your data connection so that you have mouse and keyboard control, you're gonna wanna plug into the USB here. But the one caveat you gotta think about is if you wanna use your remote location to do hotkey switching or mouse gestures, you're gonna need to plug into the KVM's USB emulation ports. Now, we previously had set this up with a USB emulation for the local mouse and keyboard. So we're gonna switch that over to USB 2.0 and then when we're here at our local station, we can just use the front push buttons. So we have our data connection from our extender here. Let's run that over to the emulated ports. There we go. Let's give our 
transmitter power. Then now let's go ahead and connect our LAN to the front of the transmitter. And then we'll go over to our other desk, grab our receiver, okay? Now that we're over here, let's say we ran ethernet to another room, it's really easy. You're gonna have the LAN port here, so we're gonna plug in our ethernet cable. Then on the back, we're gonna grab our HDMI cable, which goes into the output. And then we're gonna grab our mouse and keyboard dongle for our peripherals here and plug them in here. Lastly, we give it some power. And within a few seconds here, it should connect. So you see the red light and the blue light means that it's connected. So here we've got our desktop one, so we're controlling that. And we can sw switch over to input number two, which is going to be our Raspberry Pi. And it actually transmits audio as well over this. So you can hear, it's kind of quiet, but you can hear the Mario Kart music. Let's turn that off because I'm tired of Mario Kart today. And that's it for our setup video. So if you guys have any questions, come visit us at buytsmart.com or leave us a comment here on YouTube. Also, we're going to be setting up that Pi KVM next, so make sure to subscribe so that you get that one. That's a really cool video. Thanks and have a good day.